Welcome back to the Carolina Beat, everyone. I'm over here with the owner, Brandon Haynes, from the Wealth Plan Company. And what we're talking about is wealth planning and the importance of it. But first of all, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you for having me. All right, so what we want to talk about first is what are the components of a wealth plan? Um, components of the wealth plan, there's basically three core that we look at. We first analyze, strategize, and implement. And then you repeat that from time to time. So what does that actually mean? Yeah. Um, analyze, we want to look at your cash flow. We want to look at your assets. We want to look at them both today and in the future. But before all of that, we want to look at the why. Why is wealth important to you? What is wealth? Um, take the other day, for, for instance, I had a client come in, newer relationship, and she sort of hit it before I even got to it. She came in and she said, wealth is the things that make me happy. It's the things that I enjoy. And that's what wealth truly is. It, what's what motivates you. For me, it's to see a smile on my kid's face when we're hiking or it's to see yeah. whatever makes you happy. Um, and it's not necessarily related to money. Not at all. But I want to be honest with you. I, I don't really like it when people say, well, you don't need money to be happy. Well, hello. Well, money helps you us. You do need, you've got to have a little bit of money sure. to be doing something. So it all depends on the size of the wealth, correct? Not necessarily. That you want. It, of you want, that's yeah. right. And so some people want a big life and some yeah. people want a happy medium life. And so we want, to, we want to organize your assets and your resources to what your wealth truly is. I got you. Absolutely. Okay, well, what is the main rule when it comes to achieving success? I want to hear what you think of that. Um, well, the, the main rule is actually spending less money than you make. And that's it. Any <laughs> <laughs> easier said than done, correct? Yeah. Um, but along the way, whether you're um, fresh out of school, starting out, whether yeah. you're in school, um, retired, you still need to spend less money than you make. What that do you is think? the main rule. I'm going to ask you something off the cuff. What do you think someone sitting at home should be putting away every week out of their pay? That's a great question. Um, 10, 15, 20%. Okay. So start with 10%. Absolutely. Okay. Well, that's a fair call. I think that's pretty, pretty achievable for most people. Okay. So who needs a plan? Pretty much everybody needs a plan. I remember my nonna used to say to me, Troy, I need you to buy something. And I, I used to think, what does she mean by that? But she was always pushing us to buy a house buy some security. Sure. How do you feel about that? It's a buying property or something along those lines at a young person, at a young age? Well, it depends on what you're trying to achieve. If you're, if you're younger and you're in the location that you're going to be where you're going to have a job, by all means, if it makes sense to buy a house. But if you've got a, if you've got a job that's going to take you from town to town or you're yeah. going to have to relocate, it might not be the most sensible thing to do. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, if I don't have any wealth, why do I need a plan? Well, everybody has wealth, as we talked about in the beginning. <clears throat> wealth is what makes you happy. It's not the assets. And so mm. we all have things we want to do, and we all have goals downstream, and we have to plan for those. And so it doesn't matter if you're 20 years old, if you're 50 years old, if you're 70 years old. You always have goals that you're trying to achieve. Yeah. And so everybody needs a plan to lay out what you're trying to achieve, what you have to support that, and putting in a strategy of how you're going to achieve that. All right, Brendan, I want to ask you a question, of, uh, not about the business. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide to get into this type of work? That is a, uh, that's a, that's a long answer to a short it? question. It is. Well, um, you have about 45 seconds. All right. So <laughs> <clears throat> back in college, I worked my way through college and um, I had to learn to budget um, to put myself through school. I had a little scholarship and the rest of that I had to work and make ends meet. And then I met what, who was going to be my future wife. We didn't mm. know that at the time. Um, we tried to impress her dad. And we tried to do that by putting some money together and buying our first stock. Didn't know anything about it. Okay. Fell in love with it. Well, that's what I love to hear, success stories. And if you're going to be giving advice, it's mm -hmm. good to work the advice Absolutely. yourself as well. If you want to find out more information, there it all is on the screen for you. The Wealth Plan Company, Brandon Haynes, is the man to see to help you get on the right path. Back up to the show.